what's up it's emma welcome back to my channel i'm a huge sarah's day fan i've eaten like her for a day i reviewed her activewear brand line collection with white fox boutique and it is still hands down one of my favorite favorite pieces to work out in because it's so supportive and cute sarah's day did another collab with white fox boutique and this time it's a bathing suit line and i I have no plans to be in a bathing suit anytime soon, but I wanted to see what these pieces are like. Let's just open this up. I got two bathing suits. I got one one piece and one two piece bikini. Okay, so before we actually start trying them on, the things that I'm gonna be looking at are sizing, quality, price, and if it's worth it to buy. I only buy like really cheap bikinis and bathing suits because I'm not really in them enough to like spend the money. These were quite pricey compared to the ones that I own. I buy a lot of my bikinis at Target and these were like $50 plus. And then also, as far as the line goes, I was a little disappointed with the color range. I was hoping that there would be more colors because I wasn't crazy about the pink that was available, but I didn't want to just order the blue. She put out a few different styles, but they were just two colors. And I just, I wish that there was more. I just wanted like a black or some sort of like army green, similar to the activewear collection that she came out with with White Fox Boutique. I was hoping for that color range. <laughs> Okay guys, I already feel like I should have gotten a medium because this top feels so like fragile and at any kind of sudden movement or exercise, this, this will be exposed. The straps are really low too. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's made for someone who has boobs and I don't have boobs. So I don't feel like any support whatsoever. Keep that in mind for those of you who um, are a little more blessed in the chest than I am. I just feel like at any second, and this is me with no boobs, I feel like I'm gonna be exposed. This kind of like fabric is a little weird here. It's kind of like stretchy and I don't, I feel like it's not meant to do this. It's a really cute color though. I like the color a lot more than I thought that I would. I think with like a nice tan, it would look really cute, but I don't know, I'm just not crazy about how it looks on me. And and it's a little cheeky, but it's not like too cheeky, you know? What I'm obsessed with is the back. Like I love how exposed the back is and I actually think it makes my butt look phenomenal. So I do really appreciate that. But I just feel like this top is like, it should be up here a little bit more. I don't know if it would, okay. So clearly there's some sort of contraption in the back in which you would be able to adjust the straps, but I don't know if it would actually day because I feel like there's so much tension when I pull it. I'm not sure if it would work. I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about it, guys. It is really cute in the back though, like super flattering. It's just like right here, I feel really insecure because it makes me feel like I have absolutely no boobs. Like I just feel like a toddler. <laughs> I am like so torn because I'm obsessed with this set, but I'm also like have a lot of issues with it. Let me start over, okay? I have a lot of thoughts, okay? So first of all, the top fits great. Everything feels really nice. I hate feeling restricted and so I don't at all. So I'm really happy with this. The only thing is, again, I have no boobs. So there is like so much extra fabric here where like someone a little more blessed than I am would be able to fit. But for now, I look like Kim Possible. Maybe I can add some sort of like padding in it or like stuff it with a sock like I used to do in um, middle school. No, I didn't. Um, that was a 13 going on 30 reference. And then these are the medium bottoms. They fit really nicely because again, I don't like feeling like really tight, but they're a little, there's a little bit of room. So I feel like I could do a small cause there's a little like bunching up. I feel so sexy in this. If I can feel sexy in a bathing suit like that, that's a bathing suit that I will buy in any kind of color, any kind of pattern, because if I feel good in a bathing suit, honey, I'm going to get it. <laughs> so I feel really, really good in this one. I love a good high-waisted moment, especially like bathing suits, obviously, that's what we're talking about, hello. But yeah, the sizing is just a little bit inconsistent in my opinion, because even with that pink one, it was like too small, but also too big at the same time. So that's what I'm having a little bit of frustration with is that I just don't know my size, and that could just be because 
I've never purchased a bathing suit from White Fox Boutique before, but still it's just a little frustrating when it's above normal pricing that I'm used to and takes a little bit longer to ship and then it's like not quite right. But holy smokes, this cut and this color, I am feeling it. So that, those are my thoughts. Guys, I'm a little bit torn because I don't know if I can 100% recommend this because the sizes were so inconsistent. I don't know, I feel like I'm not super crazy about the design of the one piece, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eliminate that. This bikini is one of the most flattering, most gorgeous bikinis I've ever put on my body. I wanna see if there's a way for me to figure out like how I can like fake fill out the top because then I will keep it. But if I can't figure it out, then I'm gonna have to return it because I don't want pointy boobs when I am swimming and hanging out by the water. Anyway, that's it for me guys. I'm gonna go self tan because I'm feeling really self-conscious about this Casper energy. If you haven't already checked out my Eating Like Sarah's Day video or testing her White Fox Boutique outfit yet, I'll have them in the description box for you to check out. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.